Hello everybody, I am Professor Dr. Balasubarman Tyagaraja. Today I am going to show you how to install the most recent version of Python along with installation of all the dependencies like pip and I am also going to demonstrate how to install Django, one of the very commonly used web framework which goes along with Python in Windows 10. So let us start. So I am using the most current version of Windows 10 and first we should know whether Python is already installed or not. For that to be seen, I am going to my Windows PowerShell. Just go to the start menu and search for PowerShell and run the PowerShell as administrator. Type Python. If it is installed, it will show the version. Otherwise, it will take you to the Windows shopping offering installation. Now, I don't want that installation. I don't want Windows shopping to install Python for me. So, I go to the official website of Python, namely python.org. So, that I find the latest version of Python happens to be 3.8.5. So, I scroll down the page. Just want to read what is exactly the changes that has taken place in the in this version of Python. And then you need to choose here among the files, you need to choose the most optimal one for your operating system. If you are running a 64-bit operating system, it's ideal to choose the 64-bit executable installer because uh, for that uh, decision, you need to know which version of windows you are running whether it's a 32 bit or 64 bit if you are running a 64 bit windows the 36 bit uh, python also can work so windows into 86 executable insert can work executable installer 32 bit namely windows into 86 can work or will work but i want to ensure that i go for the 64 bit executable installer there are other files given there uh, we, we won't be discussing the role of those files because it is beyond the purview of today's uh, class. So I am going to go to the downloads where Python has been downloaded. It is there. It shows it is a 64-bit uh, executable file, Windows executable file. Now I want to know whether this is this will suit my operating system. And I go to the system information. Click system information in your Cortana or the search. And it opens up the system information which shows that I am running a 64-bit Windows operating system. So there you see 64-bit Windows operating system. So I am closing it. Now I am going to install Python. I am double clicking on the 64-bit executable file. This is actually the installer is seen. So I am going to check the add python to the path that is the most important aspect because if you don't do that python is not going to run properly in your operating system so you ensure that you check this box add python 3.8 to the path otherwise you need to do it manually so i am i have already checked that box which says i am adding python to the path and then i want to i don't want to give a install now so i thought i will go and customize the installation so what exactly you want to do? So I nearly want the documentation because I want to know exactly what are the changes which has been incorporated in the current version of Python when compared to the previous ones. Then I am going to install the pip. Pip in fact helps me to download and install all the relevant necessary Python packages. So I need to install pip. Then I am choosing to install the Kintel, the ID, IDLA development environment that also I want. Then I am going to download the python test suite also then i am going to install the pi launcher all these things i am going to install so i have decided i will take all the things which is offered by the installer package so on choosing all these things i am going to click the next button i assure you if you follow the steps showed in this video you will be able to install python 
you will be you, you will be able to use pip to install the uh, relevant libraries and you can install django so here here are advanced options i want to install it for all the users in my system so i thought i will do it but i am not happy with installing it in the uh, default directory because i don't want to search where the python is so i thought i will install it to the c folder or the c drive and i want the file name to be python 38 so that it tell me the version which version i am running so i am going to even de uh, download debugging tools because it will help me in my coding if there is any problem i can it will throw out error report it will give me details of the error so that i can carry out the necessary corrections so i am going to download debugging symbols also and then i am going to click install so installation is uh, taking place so i am allowing the video to go real time i am not uh, fast forwarding the video for the simple reason that i want every one of you to know how long it takes a python installation to complete roughly speaking this video can run for half an hour because that is i really notice the time it takes half an hour for the entire process to be over you see the setup process going as soon as the setup is over we will uh, use powershell to check out the installation and also download the dependencies which are needed so python is slowly getting installed Now it is installing the python launcher then now it is installing the bootstrap which you use for building websites responsive websites now it is adding the path python to the path of the libraries so that the files will be associated with the software. If you are using a Linux, the entire installation is easy because it comes pre-built. So in Ubuntu or in Fedora, the entire uh, Python installation is pre-built. So you can invoke a text editor and start coding directly. But here in Windows, you need to install all the files so now i am not going to choose disable path length limit because this i am not going to definitely exceed the 260 character limit so i don't want to disable that uh, limit let it be there as a default i am going to close the setup So on closing the setup now i want to test out so what i will do is i will go again go back to my powershell i'm opening the powershell i'm going to run it as administrator here this is actually the powershell window So I am going to set a policy execution policy 
allowing the python allowing the python to run scripts so that i am going to paste the entire command set execution policy and i want it to be unrestricted i want the script of the python to run inside my windows environment in unrestricted manner so set execution policy unrestricted so i type or i copy just by clicking of the right mouse button it get it get pasted there in uh, powershell just copy and set the click the right mouse button it will be copied press enter press the enter key the powershell will set the policy this is very important because if you don't set it it will give you a warning saying that if you set it scripts will have the power to execute themselves inside the windows environment i am going to give yes because otherwise if i don't allow scripts to uh, run i cannot develop a software using python so i have given that most important aspect of uh, providing execution policy i have set the permission to be unrestricted that is the first step you do after installation of python so we go it step we go step by step so we have installed python now we have set the policy execution policy as unrestricted so that scripts will run in an unrestricted manner now again i am going to the powershell i am just doing it repeatedly because just to show the steps involved in the process so i am going to say key python so what happens under i want to know the version so i key python is a horizontal space and type v it gives me the version of the python i am running python hyphen capital v so it gives the version so you can always uh, pause and uh, note down these commands text commands so that it will help you a lot you want to replicate the entire thing so now i know the python has been installed now i am going to say pip freeze so if i give out pip freeze the pip freeze command will tell me what are all the other programs which has been libraries along with python has been installed so it is nothing has been installed so pip freeze says it does not produce any output so now i am going to say pip install request so if i type pip install request what pip will do it is go to the it will go to the uh, python website download all the necessary libraries and packages so all these things will be downloaded and installed to your system so you need to uh, key in pip install request so if you key in pip freeze it will tell you what are the things available and then you key pip install request it will go to the python site and give you all the uh, download all the libraries now i am going to say key in pip freeze again pip freeze again will tell me what are the packages that have been installed downloaded and installed so it has all it is showing me all these packages have been downloaded and installed properly so this is the next step i am using pip to install all the python 11 package now i need to install a virtual environment so which use a virtual environment i just take some time explaining why you need to install virtual environment so you are developing a web application using the current version of python namely 3.85 what happens is that version will be wedded to your web application supposing if if the next version of python namely 4 comes out say six six months later you are developing a new uh, new application you can go ahead and develop it with the version using version 4 but what happens to the older application which you have developed using 3.65 so you need to maintain that uh, web application also so in order to help you to run this web application which has been developed using different versions of python python offers you a unique methodology wherein it helps you to create small containers or buckets inside which you can run these web applications so that pipe bucket or a box is known as virtual environment so now we need to download and install virtual environment that is what is happening now download virtual environment is downloaded the core uh, the uh, you need to key pip install virtual env so now i see now i i will key in pip freeze it will tell me whether virtual environment has been downloaded and installed or not now you see virtual environment has been version 20 has been downloaded and installed 
20 virtual environment version 20 has been downloaded and installed so now let's go to the next step now i want to change my directory i want to go back to the uh, parent directory so that i can create directories wherein i can house all the projects so i want a list of all the directories so i key in ls if you key in ls it lists all the directories under the drive c now what is happening is i am inside system 32 so it is uh, giving out all the directories within the system 32 i don't want that i don't want i want to go to folder c so what i will do is I will key in this command. So you key in this command with a backslash. I think you will be able to see it. Then it takes me to users DRT Balu. That is my folder. That is where I want to keep all my uh, application. I am going to list what are all the subfolders are there. It will give out a list of all the folders under you users and DRT ball it will give you all the folders so it is creating a list it will slowly populate here you see all the lists getting populated all the folders which are under this uh, path so I am going to give make directory M mkdr named dev I want to make a directory create a directory I want to name it as dev development short form for development so it the directory has been created as soon as the power shell creates it will come out and say i have created the directory now it has created the directory it gives me the output that it has created now i am going to change the directory i want to go to that directory named dev so cd dev will take me to the directory so now i am changing the directory i am getting into it so now i am inside the directory development which i am going to use for working on python so now what do you mean i am, i want to know the path so i when i key in pwd it will tell me where exactly my directory the path is c users drt follow slash dev so here I am within the uh, DEV directory. If you want to know the path, all you got to do is key in PWD. So now I, I want to create another directory for holding my project. MK, I, so I am keying make directory MKDAR and the name of the directory happens to be DRT Balu Home. So I want to keep all my websites and web application uh, which I am going to tit uh, title as DRT Balu Home in that directory. So I am creating a new directory inside directory dev directory so i now i will cd myself to drt balu home so i will get into that directory so the moment i give this command i will be taken to that directory so it's, it, you should learn all these commands these syntaxes you note it down and be, then if you key in pwd it will tell the root it will tell the pathway of the folder it will give you the path just to familiarize you with all the commands i am just doing it now i want to install virtual env ev so the thing is i have given a typo here virtual env uh, instead of virtual env i have keyed in virtual ev so your system cannot install a package which is wrongly spelled so again I want to correct the typo and attempt installation. It will throw out error now. The error inside the PowerShell will be marked red. The letters will be marked red. The error message will be in red. You will be seeing it now. Soon. see it throws out error all the error are marked in red so now i need to correct that typo so i am going to say virtual env followed by space and a period period is full stop so i click enter 
let's see what happens so it creates a environment env has been created inside that folder title drt balu home that is where i am going to process my files for the project so that project name is drt balu home so i have created a virtual environment within that folder now i if you key in ls it will list all the folders within that main folder trt balu home so i am clicking ls just to know what are the folders there so it is listing lib happens to be the library then script is the folder which will run scripts then all the other things will be lifted there are around, around four folders listed so now i need to activate the script folder i need to activate the script folder to enable it to run the script so let us see how i do it so i am going to click sorry it is wrong i need to activate the script file script folder rather so i am going to key in the command to activate the script folder so dot backslash scripts backslash activate the moment i give this command the script folder will be activated and it will be fit to run the scripts so now it has been activated successfully if you say deactivate there it will get deactivated and then if you want to reactivate again you need to put a period backslash scripts and then activate so now i am giving a pip freeze command if you give pip freeze command it will tell me what are all the uh, file so what there is uh, no libraries installed if i aren't giving a pip freeze i see there are no libraries installed now i am going to install django the current installation of django version happens to be 3.08 so i have given django followed by 2 equal to and then the version number it downloads django and installs the all the libraries needed to run django so now django has been is being installed into that folder using pip so django is actually a library which is used to develop websites and web application it is in fact a framework for web development so now it says it has successfully installed django inside that folder drt balu home so now we have installed uh, uh, we have seen now if i give ph pap freeze it will show django has been installed see now django has been installed so now what is going to be the next step django and all the other needed files are installed into the folder drt balu home so now i need to go back to my root folder so i am keying in cd backslash so it takes me to back so i giving it ls it will give all the list of files within that folder see it has prefixed drt balu home that is my resource folder in front of me so all the uh, folders are being listed here now i am going to cd to develop development that is a dev for the dev folder where all the project folders are residing now i will give ls so it will show the drt balu home listed there this i am doing just to show you the list of files that have been installed if you follow these steps carefully you will be able to install uh, your python as well as django as i'm asking the uh, powershell to list all the subfolders within the folder dev or dev so it shows drt balu there listed that's a folder we have created to hold all the files for the project title drt balu home that is actually the project name i have given 
So I am going to redo again for the sake of reinforcement. I am again going through the entire process once again. I am going to create a directory again and name it DRT Balubok. So I am going to key in MK directory, MK DAR and use DRT Balubok as the title or name for the directory. So this is again I am repeating the entire thing. I am listing it will show DRT Balu home as well as DRT Balu work as two directories within the DEV folder. Now let us redo just a revision. I want you to go through it. We will redo the entire thing which we have done for DRT Balu home for again the same thing we will be repeating for DRT Balu work also. So now I am going to change my directory to DRT Balu work by seeding it CD. Now I am inside the directory DRT Balu work. Now, if you give ls, there won't be any files listed there. In fact, it will be empty directory. Now, what we will do see? Now, we need to install Django there. So, I, first I need to install virtual environment slash p python. So, if we, why you want to, here I want to start. Suppose you want to install virtual environment. You just key, virtual, key in virtual environment. It will install the current virtual environment, which is uh, compatible with the version current version of Moodle installed whereas if you want to install the older version of virtual environment because a project needs a has an older PHP now you need to what you need to do is let just carefully look at the command I am seeding myself to DRT Balu work and then so here I am giving slash by uh, high uh, yeah, period uh, virtual environment followed by a space followed by a period followed by a hyphen p and python version i am typing if you don't give out this python 2 if you don't give out this uh, hyphen p it will install the current version if you give out this specific version it will install the virtual env which is compatible with the older version what the version you are seeing if you remove this one it will install the virtual env environment version which is compatible with the uh, python you have already installed in your system that could be the current one so i am going to take it off because i don't have any other version of python inside my machine so i will remove it so i will just ask the pip to i am the uh, uh, installer to install the virtual environment alone I don't want any version changes. I want to install it for the current version. So I'll just give virtual environment followed by space and a period. Period is full stop. So virtual environment is installed there. It is installed. Now these are all the directories which are seen within the which, uh, within the DRT Balu work. So I am using the slash scripts to activate the script directory. So it is activated. If you want to deactivate, you just type deactivate there. If you key in deactivate, the script will be deactivated. And then you need to reactivate means you need to key in a full stop backslash scripts backslash activate. Then it gets activated. So this is actually you learn to practice this toggle because you need to activate and deactivate commonly. So that you do, that is done. So now we have installed. Now I am going to install Django using pip inside DRT Balu work. Pip install Django. I know the version I am going to install, the current version 3.08. Now you see Django is getting installed. You see it is saying catch Django because we have already installed this Django inside our another folder which we termed as DRT Balu home. Since this is a revision, says it is taken from the catch, it is not downloading. So it is installed every like every file and uh, libraries needed for Django is installed. You take some time going through all the tutorials and try out the installation yourself and you'll feel very happy that you've done the entire installation alone. So now I'm going to key in pip freeze. 
Pip Free is a good. Uh, will tell you what are all the instance, what are all the software and libraries which have been installed inside that folder. So it shows me all these things are installed. So now I am going to download another software known as Sublime Text. This is actually paid software, no problem. But you can keep using it as long as you want. It will say that kindly purchase. It will keep just give you a reminder asking you to purchase. No issues. You can download Sublime Text. And then install it into your system because it is a good uh, text editor which you can use to create python setup and create python based application so this is actually the sublime text i am going to open a project namely the name of the project i have already we have two projects in our hard disk that is users drt follow one is the drt follow home uh, the other one is dev folder two projects namely drt balo home and drt balo work so i am opening the drt balo home so the problem is here i have i am attempting attempting to open a full a file it is not so i should go and open show the folder so what i will do is i will open up i should not open a project i should go and open a folder i should add the folder to this uh, editor these are the mistakes which can happen to our novice so you don't do that so it won't show anything so you need to close it and go back and do it again so here no again no not me that should not be the way it should be done no it won't open see i'm just doing this just to show you that you shouldn't try all these things it's not needed this so, you'll see you just try you see it won't read the project because you need to show it to show the folder right no 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 you should not open the project you know, it doesn't do it that doesn't work that way you need to show the folder see how much i'm struggling to use this uh, sublime text as a text editor so this actually you need the text editor helps you the option to save your text i mean your project files so only that will open when you attempt to open a project i do not need that just i am trying out all these things it's not going to work i need to see that folder i need to see that folder now let's see here now you see add folder to the project i have got it so now i will add the folder to the project so now you see all the files within the project listed here beautifully and now you can save this thing save the project in the name you are given in the same folder i have saved it now this is actually and we have installed the text editor which will help us to manipulate the text rather help us to code the python program now again i am going to uh, giving a ls command to see what are the folders listed and then i am going to here i am giving a make directory mk directory name src in drt balu home in drt balu home i am making a directory titled src and then i will cd to src this is the next step you take cd to src a new directory we have created within drt balu home that's a source file which will contain this this directory will contain the source file now immediately you go to your uh, text editor which you have installed it will show the src folder listed here so i am going to you note this command key in inside the src folder i am keying in django dot admin dot py python start project so i want to start the project so this is the code command we give to start the project start the django project so django dot admin dot py start project named drt balu home give a space and give a period 
as soon as it starts so it has started the project project has been started so now we have started the soft text editor it again tells me this uh, file src has been added and the project has been listed here as a drt balo home has been listed here and it has started now i am going to what next i means i am going to use python manage py to run the server so python manage dot py run server so the server has start started so now you note this http address you copy it and paste it to your browser window you copy it and paste it to your browse any browser window of your choice that will open up the django proper page see the page is open and it tells you that your installation is complete your project has uh, initiated and django is showing you your install has worked successfully and even it goes to the extent of congratulating you so now with this we are coming to the end of our topic namely installation of python installation of all the libraries needed to create a project in python and then we have installed django and then we have created a small project using django we have managed to create a virtual environment and then inside the virtual environment we have run a server and on keying in the url of the server and the port which is port happens to be 8000 it gives you the confirmatory message saying django comes and tells you the installation has worked and it is congratulating you so let us end our session with this hope you enjoyed it i intend to follow this up with future videos thank you so much